Alicia here with Terra Drift, and today we're gonna talk about winter camping. Specifically, tents intended for. Because if there's one piece of gear that has kept us from attempting winter camping and backpacking, it's a four season tent. After all, our beloved Big Agnes Tiger Wall is amazing, but it's about 75% mesh, which means it is not warm when the temperatures drop. But we still wanted to sleep outside in the fourth season, as we call it in the outdoor industry, because uh, trails are empty, the quiet is explosive, and the views, oh, let me tell you. Fortunately, we finally got to experience winter camping with the Rab Latok Mountain 2 tent, which is a four season tent designed for camping and backpacking any time of year, but mostly in winter. So let's talk about it. For starters, it's a two person tent with a single door, which yeah, can be cramped when using it with two people, but it keeps the weight down. It's a single wall tent, which means there's no additional tent fly to mess with, which is nice and makes for quick and easy setup when it's cold. Plus it's highly breathable. It does have a zippable vented window opposite the door to facilitate airflow if you do need it, if it's say a little warmer outside. Donut tie-in loops on the roof and sides so you can attach belay anchors if you need them on extreme mountain adventures. And it comes with 13 tent pegs, which is actually exactly how many anchor points and guy lines there are. And um, if you know backpacking tents, you know how surprising and rare that is. And speaking of setup, the Rab Latok Mountain 2 works a little differently than the tents you might be familiar with if you haven't used a four season tent before. There are two identical DAC feather light poles that actually go inside the tent body instead of outside in, say, dedicated pole sleeves or clips. This helps keep the tent extremely streamlined and less prone to, say, catching wicked winter winds and snow, so that's an excellent design feature. The tent isn't super light at 68 ounces, but winter backpacking tents are just heavier, so you'll have that. It's not too bad in the spectrum of winter backpacking tents, honestly. Now, when it comes to interior space, as with most backpacking tents, there's not a lot of extra room to store stuff inside the tent if there are actually two people in there. That's usually on purpose. A smaller footprint means less weight to carry, which is important to most backpackers. But with two small people, there was just enough room for us, a few accessories like water bottles and headlamps and our two backpacks crammed down by our feet. But there was actually a surprising amount of headroom in this tent, more than in our Big Agnes Tiger Wall, in fact. It made it really easy to change, sit up, play games, etc. than it is in many backpacking tents that we've used over the years. So that was really nice. Of course, if you'd rather trade headspace for weight savings, there's also the Rav Latok Summit, which weighs in at only 56 ounces, which which is super light for a four season tent and has a more streamlined design for serious high altitude pursuits. As for testing, we took it out in a few conditions that ranged from below freezing to windy, mild, and rainy. And as you would expect, in less than ideal weather, well, there are pros and cons, of course. The first time we tested it was in warmer, rainy weather, as in overnight lows around 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And on one hand, it performed beautifully. Not a single drop of water or condensation seeped inside the tent. Instead, rain just beaded off the outside of the fabric and rolled right off. Mwah, chef's kiss. On the other hand, because of the shape of the tent and the opening, whether it's actively raining or the tent is just covered in drops from an overnight mist or shower, the minute you open the door, water is absolutely going inside the tent. Like, guaranteed. The same will be true with snow, so be prepared for that if it's actively snowing. Basically, if you're expecting precipitation of any sort to be falling from the sky while camping or backpacking, you're probably going to want to purchase the attachable vestibule, which is sold separately. And honestly, it would just be super nice to have anyway, as it adds more space for storage and cooking and whatnot. Or just deal with it. I don't know, like a few raindrops inside your tent, it'll drive, whatever. On the upside, in cold, windy weather, the tent barely moved, which was impressive. And we didn't feel the slightest breeze or draft creep inside, which is kind of the point of a four season tent. So well done, rep. 
We would have been feeling the chill all night long in a tent with mesh walls and a separate fly. The RAV was also quieter than many traditional tents with separate flies. You, you know, less loose material to snap and flap around. Plus, it's incredibly easy to set up. Just slide the poles inside the tent, tuck them into the corners, and secure them via the Velcro loops on the inside of the tent. It literally takes 60 seconds. But I will say that it's tricky if it's raining or snowing as the door has to be open while you're doing it, which means moisture will get inside. That said, it's hard to pitch a typical three season tent with a fly in wet weather and keep the interior dry. So at least with the Rabla Talk Mountain, you could just open the zipper a few inches on the side you're sliding the poles in. You'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Overall, the Rabla Talk Mountain 2 is a great tent for winter camping. So if you're ready to try out camping in the fourth season, don't let the lack of a tent stop you. This is a great option. I'm absolutely gonna take it out in some weather again. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, we will put a link to the tent in the description below and you can get one for your own gear closet. But before you leave the good old YouTubes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming gear reviews or outdoorsy how-tos. We got a lot of dope ones coming, I'm just saying worth sticking around. Then check out even more gear reviews and guides, including ones you won't find here on YouTube over at terradrift.com. And follow along with our adventures and get sneak peeks at what's coming up on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Terradrift on all of them. And as always, friends, thanks for watching. You're the bomb. You're fantastic. Now get out there, don't let a little winter weather keep you from sleeping outdoors, and wander on. You'll just be as cozy as a bug and rug. Do people still say that? Or just your grandma? I don't know. But you will. Nope, no breeze on your face. Listen, I have camped in below freezing temperatures in a regular three season tent. It is unpleasant. I mean, look at me. Do I look like I have the ability to keep myself warm? I have zero built-in insulation. I get freaking cold when I'm outside in temperatures like that. I mean, we gotta like layer sleeping bags up in here because I'm so cold all the time. This, this is better. This makes winter camping absolutely doable. So go check it out, guys. Get yourself a four season tent. You can't have this one though. This one's mine. Get drunk.